New details tonight about the future of the high speed train service from Orlando to Tampa. Disney is backing out of a plan to add a stop at Disney Springs. Fox 35's Marlisa Goldsmith is looking into why. If you were looking forward to jumping on a train to get you directly to Disney Springs, you can kiss that idea goodbye. But Brightline is working on an alternate option to get you close. Plans for people to be able to conveniently catch a train to and from Disney Springs have been nixed. It would have been cool. The rail system originally announced plans in 2020 to open a train station at Disney Springs in Orlando, providing a convenient travel option between Walt Disney World Resort, the Orlando International Airport, and other stations in South Florida by 2023. But as of Monday night, those plans have been canceled, and we found locals to have mixed reaction to the news. That's not so bad. It would have been nice. I personally can't drive due to neurological reasons. So yeah, it would have been great, uh, especially since Disney Springs is one of like the more local hangouts for a lot of people. Brightline confirmed to Fox 35 in a statement saying we have identified a solution now known as the Sunshine Corridor, which contemplates two new stations and integrates Brightline's intercity service with SunRail through an east-west expansion. Now, in addition to a station at Orlando International Airport, there will be a new station at the Orange County Convention Center and one near Disney Springs. Brightline has not confirmed that location yet. Because if it's near Disney Disney Springs, what's the whole point? Like, where is the other local transportation for like people that live in Kissimmee to get there, or Meadowoods, or Hunters Creek? Or I mean, at least to get over there, you get close. I mean, none of the bus stations or train stations are really close to everything. You know, you can't be. So we also reached out to Congressman Darren Soto, a longtime advocate for infrastructure investment, for his reaction. So I can understand folks being disappointed. That there was an announcement uh, that there's not a formal Disney Springs stop. Uh, I could tell you, stay tuned. I predict we will have one that'll be either next to or in Disney campus, and it will allow for thousands of Central Floridians to get to work easier. Brightline, defending their alternative station, says the three integrated stations will provide access to the largest economic and employment centers in Central Florida. We reached out to Disney multiple times today. We're still waiting to hear back. Reporting in Orlando, Marlisa Goldsmith, Fox 35 News.